Hi everybody, it's Lauren Morn here, Shamwari Coaching. I'm out in the turnout with Gift, who is an amazing, amazing coach. And I, uh, you know, sitting with her and with a client yesterday, I was so overcome with gratitude for for everything that this girl does, for everything that she offers. Um, my client came in with some pretty heavy stuff to work through and it didn't take long before the tears were flowing. And this beautiful being just held space. She held space. At first she just honored those tears. She stood and put her nose on my client's heart. She stood with her. She stood next to her. She listened. She held space for the tears. She held space for the pain. And then she worked. And I wanted to say what a gift tears can be. It's, you know, it's, it's not unusual. In fact, it's, it's closer to the norm than the exception for people to find themselves when they're with the horses in a safe enough space to, she's listening, <laughs> in a safe enough space to, to release. There's a release that happens when you're, when you're with the horses physiologically, you're impacted. But we create a safe container in the coaching area and what often surprises people is how quickly the tears come and how many of them are there are and and how deeply they are they they come from what a deep well they come from and what touches my heart is how invariably people apologize. They start to cry. They have heavy things on their heart. They're working through some big stuff. And they and they cry. And then they apologize for it. And you know that that makes me sad that we've created a society where it's not okay to feel deeply where it's not okay to be vulnerable, where it's not okay to hurt. And what I want to do in my coaching sessions, in all of them, what I strive to do is to create an area of safety, a space of safety where it's okay to feel pain, it's okay to express it, it's okay to, to have that, that, that deep well of grief, of pain, of, of relief, of gratitude, Tears are such an amazing expression of profound emotion, right? They can be a, an expression of profound good emotion and profound pain, right? And I think that the more that we can all get in touch with our emotions, the more that we can get in touch with our reality, the more that we can feel it, the better we can empathize with each other. And then the cleaner we can be. Invariably, when people that I work with express those emotions where they, where they feel something so deeply it leaks out through their eyes, um, those are the sessions where people walk away feeling lighter. Those are the, pe the sessions where people walk away feeling cleaner, feeling like they've had a detox. And so when my clients apologize for crying, I say to them, it's okay. This is the safest place in the world for your tears. We honor them. We hold them. They consecrate the ground that we're coaching on. And I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for your tears. I'm grateful for the depth of emotion that they come from. I'm grateful for the honesty and the vulnerability and I can tell you right now, when you get that honest and that vulnerable and that real, the horses get it. The horses love it. The horses are absolutely 
there with you. They will hold that space, they will receive your emotion, and they will walk you through it. So please, don't apologize for crying. Never ever apologize for crying. Crying is just simply that you are so full of emotion that they're leaking through your eyes. And they are honest. They're honest. They're you in the deepest, deepest expression of you. So cry, cry, feel it, let it out. Allow yourself to be cleansed by them and allow the horses to hold that space for you. And if you feel like a good cry, I know a bunch of us do these days, come out and see me, come out and see the horses. This is a, a wonderful place for it. And your tears will stay where you let them drop. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.